I'm Daddy O2 Spicy, and I'm going to just go straight to it, man. Longhorn Nation. <clears throat> this game was ass from the Longhorns. Longhorn Nation. This game was ass. The Longhorns did not show up to play at all on offense or defense, to be honest with you, because this defense was supposed to take control of this game, but they only took the control mainly in the... I'll say the second quarter in the beginning a little bit here and there they had their shine because but the offense couldn't produce. The offense couldn't produce all day. And this is why I never say Texas is back. Because it's like when you say Texas is back, it's like they lose, lose, self destruct, lose. And this is one of those games where I thought the moment was too big. Too big. Both of these guys at the, uh, what the fuck it was, the Cotton Bowl, what, was this a fucking Cotton Bowl, some shit like that. And both of these guys, they, I, I don't know, they just choked, man. They they really fucking choked, like, hands down. Like, they fucking you know, choked. Passes, but, like, like, deep balls. This dude was just, like, this was good. This dude was fucking good. He, he was good. As you can see, he spread the ball around. Like, look at this. Look at this. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight motherfuckers that caught the ball, bro. That's eight people that caught the ball. And you got you got three people over 30 yards, two people over 50 yards, one person over 125 yards. That is fucking spectacular. Like, there's nothing you else you can say from your quarterback from there. Like, my Longhorns, on the other hand, 29 for 34, you would say that was really good. Like, he had a really good game passing the ball. No. <laughs> no, he did not have a really good game passing the ball. He those be, The only reason why that is like that is because he took a lot of dump passes. He just, he dumped the ball off a lot more than I, I liked. As you can see, he spread the ball around, too. Boom, boom. They made a lot of big plays. But this offensive line was terrible. Terrible sack. I thought they gave up more sacks than that. But this offensive line was terrible. Oh, this is the defense. See, defense only got one. Let's see. We can't see the offensive line. How many times you got sacked? I can't even see it, bro. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Just go straight to it, man. Now, um, let's talk a little college football. So, last night, Louisville beat. Louisville beat Notre Dame, and hands down, Louisville ran the fucking show. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Just to watch the game in general was just like, to see Notre Dame, like, up against the wall. They played bro. great, though. I honestly say, you gotta respect the way they play, bro. Like, you hands down, you just, they came at the Notre Dame from the jump, and when they took Notre Dame spirit, bro, they was still coming, so... That's all to you, motherfuckers. Next. USC, Arizona. I mean, this game, I passed out, bro, at the second half and woke up at the third quarter. It was like 1230, bro, and the third quarter was just getting started. I, I cut this shit off. It was like 2020 then. But from what I watched... Kayla Williams was struggling. He was getting sacked a lot. He had to run the ball a lot. He wasn't really like hitting his court, hitting his wide receiver. He wasn't accurate at all. Even when you look at his numbers, you can see his numbers shows that he like he wasn't accurate. Like he wasn't accurate at all. He he spread the ball. He spread it the ball around, but he only had fourteen completions. He only had fourteen completions. Literally fourteen completions, and you can see they all right here within these five. Was it one to two? Who got yup. Yeah. Within these five. Within these five, literally. So, the Wildcats actually played pretty good. And look at the quarterback, bro. Look at the Wildcats quarterback. Look at the stats on this guy, bro. I watched this guy play, and he was unbelievable, bro. He, he hit every target. And he only a freshman, and he a backup, too. He hit every single target with unbelievable accuracy. Like, amazing. 
I think this guy is pretty good that that started for his second. Uh, this is his second straight game started, and he was. They say he was pretty good his first game, which I didn't see, but he he damn sure was good from what I saw. He put man, he was really good, and you can see his wide receive. He had a field though, literally spreading his ball around, bro, spreading his ball around, literally. Arizona played well, but it's just. Caleb Williams is something different, bro. Like, he's literally something different. And it's a reason why he has so much hype. You got to watch him play, bro. If you, if when you watch him play, you say, damn, like, <laughs> damn, literally, because his pocket awareness, his accuracy, he can throw on the run. He, he, uh, he does what I see, um, I can't think of the fucking name, but he's really good at baiting. Baiting uh, the defensive backs into thinking he's throwing this way and he actually goes the other way. Good game from what I saw. Texas A&M, Alabama. Texas A&M and Alabama. Bro, this was a hard-hitting game. All these games I seen. All these games I seen. It's called Football Weekend, motherfucker. You got to watch these games to understand and know who you going to root for in the near future. All these games I seen. This game was hard-hitting. It looked like um from it looked like uh Texas A&M took this game a little personal because they was hitting the shit out of these wide receivers. They was hitting the shit out of these wide receivers and the one thing I can say is their passing game was legit, bro. Like, he, he didn't make a lot of big plays, but he made plays when he had to. Like, that's why you see these wide receivers, two catches for 49 yards, three catches for 46 yards, four catches for 45 yards, one catch for 11 yards. Because he didn't, he wasn't accurate with the pass. He wasn't like, he wasn't really like hitting bam, bam, bam. But on those Third downs and long, like he was just hitting a boom, boom, accurate, accurate, accurate. And that's one of the reasons why they lost because he didn't make enough plays. Like he wasn't accurate the whole game. He was accurate only like on third down and long or third down. This nigga, Musa Muhammad the third, you he played his. This is son. He played for the Chicago Bears. This is his son. Really good route runner as a freshman. Really good. Really really good. The Alabama, Alabama for some reason isn't good this year. They're not good this year, but they seem to be better than everybody as usual. Like watching them play is just like, um, who the fuck is this? But it's like they make plays though. Like they make plays, and people talk about this guy quarterback as just a uh, a running quarterback. No. He's an excellent deep ball thrower. He can he can stretch the ball, but the only thing is he can only stretch the ball though. He can't hit those intermediate passes like a let's say like a hook, a slant. He struggled with like those like he struggled with those type of passes. He he's not really accurate though. He really shines when he runs. He's he's a dude that you might see people try to push out at wide receiver. Or tight end. I, I mainly say wide receiver because his speed is like Mike Vick, Mike Vickish. Um, hey yo, 